The Mongolian Polish Business Forum was successfully held at the Shangri-La Hotel on April 25th. As a part of the President of the Republic of Poland, Mr. Andrzej Duda's official visit to Mongolia. The event was organized by the Mongolian National Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Polish Investment and Trade Agency, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mongolia and the Embassy of Poland in Mongolia. The forum's opening ceremony was attended by President Duda and Mongolian President Hursochna, who highlighted the increasing activation of relations between the two countries' governments, parliaments, state institutions, citizens, entrepreneurs, and companies. They also emphasized the significant growth in trade turnover between Mongolia and Poland, which has reached about 100 million US dollars, a twofold increase over the past three years. The forum was attended by 20 companies from Poland representing sectors such as milk and dairy products, meat and meat products, healthcare, medical equipment, information technology, energy, construction and tourism. They were joined by nearly 300 Mongolian entrepreneurs and enterprises, primarily from the food and agriculture sectors, which has the largest engagement in cooperation between the two countries. During the head of the Mongolian National Chamber of Commerce and Industry highlighted the need of immediate measures to increase household income and create jobs for Mongolians by exporting non-mining products. He specified that meat, wool, cashmere products and nuts have the greatest potential for export. Mongolia's economy is heavily reliant on mining, with China being the sole buyer. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the risk of having an economy that is overly dependent on just one country and the need to develop direct export routes. It has become clear that Mongolia should export opportunities in developed coastal markets. Non-mining products hold significant near-term potential for increasing the average household income and employment in Mongolia. Meat, cashmere and pine nuts are among the main non-mining pro export products. Currently, these products are exported to China as raw materials and China processes and sells them to the American and European markets at a high price. This means China is reaping the profits while Mongolia is merely a supplier of raw materials. To change this situation, Mongolia should aim to develop and produce its own products for developed markets, adding value to these products and capturing more financial rewards. Two key things are necessary to achieve this, financing for exports and value-added processing in Mongolia that meet American and European standards. The European market, including Poland as a main gate way to Europe represents a significant export market for Mongolian wool, cashmere products and pine nuts. As such, the importance of this forum cannot be overstated in terms of furthering trade and business cooperation between two countries and realizing the potential of Mongolian non-mining products in the European market. A three-point memorandum of understanding was drawn up as part of the forum with a notable focus on transit facilitation. The forum also included presentations and information sharing on the Mongolian and Polish business environment, trade opportunities, transport logistics, agricultural export and import, joint production, investment opportunities and banking. The Mongolian National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Polish Investment and Trade Agency and the Polish Chamber of Commerce signed a memorandum of cooperation, paving the way for further collaboration in trade, production and business between Mongolian and Polish companies. Yes, it's a lot of, I think, a lot of possibilities. Uh, one of the first uh, uh, possibilities is our uh, agricultural sector, where we have very high level of our agriculture. We have here uh, a few companies uh, where we have a very strong position. For example, it's possibly using our activities because you see, for example, in uh, uh, white meat, we have one of the first positions in the world. You have a very good position with uh, lamb meat, yes? In Poland, uh, uh, lamb meat is very, uh, very expensive. Yes, in uh, in uh, your country, in Mongolia, uh, uh, white meat is expensive. I think it's possible using. Yes, we have uh, absolutely one of the uh, highest level with Polish equipment to agricultural area. I think uh, another area it is uh, possible to increase activities in the in the uh, uh, production. Uh, in Poland, we have one of the uh, biggest uh, position in the world in factory production of uh, part of cars. We have now uh, one of the first place if in Europe connected with production uh, electric battery, yes. The forum also highlighted existing trade relations between two countries. In 2022, Mongolia exported 599,000 US dollars in packaged medicine, soon and neat clothes and other goods to Poland. Poland exported just under 100 million US dollars in apples, pears and canned vegetables to Mongolia last year. Mongolia also has growing demand for Polish fruit, nuts, chocolate, cocoa, pharmaceuticals, beverages and pork.
The forum concluded with promising prospects for increased trade, production and business partnership between Mongolia and Poland and a shared commitment to strengthening bilateral ties.